Hello everybody and welcome to our online course. Today we are going to talk about linking emission trading systems. The goal of this lecture is to provide an introduction to the topics of the course, provide the theoretical framework underlying these topics, and describe the historical evolution of linking up to now. Following Europe, Many emission trading systems were born and ETSs are spreading around the world. This map shows in blue the jurisdictions where ETSs are currently in place. In green, those where they are under construction and in yellow, under consideration. Our project, the Life Digit project, focuses on six main emission trading systems, namely California, China, Europe, New Zealand, Quebec, and Switzerland. Despite some differences that are described in our report ETS at a glance, which you find in the reading material, the various ETSs have comparable features and there are similarities in, in terms of targets and compliance period down to the use of banking but not borrowing. Given these similarities, these ETSs might be linked in principle. But what do we mean by linking? Linking occurs when allowances in one system can be used in another system for compliance purposes, so that companies may trade across the two markets, thus increasing the dimension of the market, both in terms of number of participants and emissions being covered. We can identify different kinds of linking. First of all, Unilateral, well, regulated entities under emission trade system A can use allowances issued by system B, but not vice versa. Bilateral, when A can use allowances of B and vice versa. Multilateral, when uh, multiple ETSs are involved. Moreover, linking can be direct or indirect. Direct when the two partners recognize each other's allowances for compliance. Indirect when they're not linked directly, but each of them is linked to a, the same third party. So A with C, B with C, and then as a consequence, A and B are indirectly linked. Finally, we distinguish between full and restricted linking. You have full linking when the two ETSs can use the partner's allowances without any restriction and restricted, obviously, when there are restrictions, when the use is conditional. Restrictions can take several forms, quantitative restrictions, standard quotas, border taxes on allowance transfers, exchange rates, or discount rates. As any marriage, linkage has advantage and disadvantages. First of all, the economic advantages derive from the fact that a larger market gives more and possibly cheaper compliance opportunities, and also increases the liquidity of the market. Moreover, the price convergence that comes along with the linking process reduces carbon leakage, namely the decentralization, uh, the delocalization of production towards jurisdictions that have a laxer environmental regulation. Secondly, there can be regulatory advantages Linking spread the best practices among emission trading systems in a process of mutual learning. Thirdly, there can be political advantages because linking can spur international cooperation on climate change, thus providing a bottom-up solution to a global problem. But as any other marriage, linking also has disadvantages. First of all, you have to give up some freedom in, in the marriage, and this happens also with linking. Linking may diminish the capacity of the jurisdiction to intervene on the market, so causing a partial loss of sovereignty for the parties. Secondly, there can be political consequences. If you're linked to the wrong partner, if my partner's cap is much laxer, this may water down my own ambition and possibly create credibility problems to my own ETS. Thirdly, there are economic consequences because negative effects can spread across ETSs, and there may be distributional effects. Indeed, linking implies possibly large financial flows from high price to low price jurisdiction, 
And on top of that, differential effects with winners and losers within each jurisdiction. These concerns and the difficulty to cooperate, coordinate with partners may explain why little linking has been observed so far. With two notable exceptions, California, Quebec, and Europe, Switzerland. California and Quebec joined their ETSs at the beginning of 2014 and started running joint auctions from November 2014 in what seems to be a successful experience. The EU ETS linkage instead is brand new. It became operational only at the beginning of this year after long negotiations took around a decade. While California and Quebec were quite similar from the beginning, the Swiss ETS had to be designed from the beginning so as to match the provisions of the EU ETS, which might explain why the negotiation, the linkage process took a lot of time. Marriages may unfortunately sometimes end up in divorce, and the same applies to linking that may end up in delinking. And we have seen several examples over these years. Ontario decided to join California and Quebec at the beginning of 2018, but after a few months left the linkage agreement when the new elected government canceled its cap and trade program. New Jersey, which was among the founders of REGI, the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative in northeastern coast of the US, left REGI at the end of 2011, but then changed his mind and decided to rejoin the system in 2020, a sort of trouble love story. Europe and Australia had decided to uh, start a linkage in July 2015, but abandoned the project after the 2013 Australian elections when the new government decided to repeal its own system. Sort of broken engagement, I would call it, since EU and Australia were not yet married, not yet linked. And finally, Brexit might cause UK to exit the UETS and possibly link back at a later stage. But negotiations are still ongoing and all scenarios are still possible, so it's too early to say. In the online material, you'll be able to dig deeper into the linking problems encountered so far and in the future perspectives of linking. Moreover, on Friday, you'll have the possibility to discuss these issues with an expert from ICAP with a long expertise on this issue. So I do hope you will enjoy the course and I look forward to seeing you online. With a contribution from the LIFE program of the European Union,